Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Dad just got a new one of these for the freezer because it was broken. So I'm just putting it on. I like it. You're using a screwdriver so you don't strip it. You're a clever one. It's a little bit of breakfast in the background, guys, but uh. There you go. Look at that. First job of the day done by Bella. It's this morning's jobs. Bella's done the first one, which was our little clip install on the freezer. We had a broken ring pull and no one could get into the freezer. So one job done. Uh, while I was down there at Marine Exchange this morning, I got two spare impellers. They didn't actually have the right ones. My part number is 0001, but I've actually got the 0003, which just means it can be used for oil and all that. It's actually just a better rubber. So I thought, you know what? I'll go that one anyway. So I've got two spare impellers. That should see us around the globe. And I've got a box of valves and bits and pieces. Now what am I gonna do with all these? Uh, when we first got here, we were given some store credit to West Marine. And I actually bought a oil transfer pump. What I intend to do with that is make a manifold out of all of these bits. Something like this. It's just roughly. Or oh, it's a bucket oil pump kit, which I'm gonna remove the pump off the bucket. And I'm gonna make a manifold like this. So it's gonna probably look something. I haven't thought about it too much yet. It'll be something like that. I've never had one of these before. I'm a bit excited. So what it's gonna be is that bucket pump I was talking about is gonna be here. So when I go to change the oil on the engine, it's just a matter of opening up the valve, draining it, shutting it off. Oil change done. See what that looks like a bit later, guys. That's what I've got. A few more pipe clips, ordered a couple more pumps. Just another busy day. I'm Bella Vida. So this is the old impeller off the raw water pump. And I gotta find all these little pieces because that clogs up everything. So I'm going to look in the heat exchanger first, the old one, to see if there's any in there. Then I'm going to look in the oil cooler to see if there's any bits in there. So let's go. Ow. I stood on something. Okay, so this is the thing. This thing. I'm not sure what part I meant to unbolt, but I'm going to take a guess because I'm going to look around it and then see which one. Oh, I think that end. I'm gonna try unbolt this and I'm gonna see if there are any little part, plastic parts. Okay, so I've looked, that's the back like, of it. I'm looking, it was all like corroded. I'm pretty sure that white stuff's like all corrosion and stuff. But it looks like there is no little black plastic bits in here. So I'll have to go look in the other thing because I don't think it's in this section. So yeah, let's go see if we can find it in the other section. My butt is burning. The concrete dock is very hot. But it is burning, so I'm going to go into the engine bay now and see if it's in there. Okay, so this is the impeller that sits right here in the raw water pump and it sits here and spins and pushes the water from this sea chest, the new valve that dad replaced through here, through there to here and it pushes all the water to cool down the engine. And so these little things have come off and they fly through this all the way here and they get caught in here. And there's all, there's like a little, a grid thing so that can't get through. So hopefully all those little pieces will be in that chamber section. And so that's what I've got to clean out today. And we've replaced the new impeller and hopefully it doesn't do that for a while. Okay, so I just I undid that pipe thingy majiggy. Anyway, I just put my finger in the little, it's like a really little hole, and I just put my finger in and I felt around and I can feel the plastic bits. They're like in water, but like, here, I'll show you. It's kind of hard, I can't 
get them so I'll have to figure out a way but if I put my finger in here I can feel them but the other thing is I have to go in and then down like that so it's like that but I can feel them so I know that they're in there so that's good and then I can get them out somehow I might need like a I don't know let's figure it out I've got all of the pieces out of the thing. I don't know if they're all of the pieces off the thing, but I just pulled out three kind of big pieces, one small piece and one like piece of plastic. And the way that I got them out was there was a bolt on the bottom, undid that and I actually pulled them through there and it was only a tiny little hole like my finger couldn't, my, my pinky could maybe just fit in there. But that's how I got them out after like trying for like half an hour of trying to like pull them out with my finger and then put hooks in there and stuff but in the end that works so I've got these pieces these are all the pieces that I found in there off the thing <gasps> okay we found this section this piece used to go here So that was that piece, this one, and then this piece, oh there we go, this piece went there, and then last piece, that's that piece, and this piece, yes we got all the pieces, and an extra little piece, I've cut in there from like putting my finger in, and like up there, Oh, oh, that's like the worst place. Anyway, all my battle scars, mate. Got all the pieces. Job done. I'm oh, shoving it in this hole. That hole, it can only fit my... It's like... A little bit bigger than all of my fingers, but I can only fit one finger at a time, so that was annoying. But anyway, it's done. Whoo, that was like annoying. All right, so Bella's been in there. She's um, found all the pieces to the old raw water pump. Good job, Belly. All right, honey, what are you doing tonight? You got your headlight on because it's night time. Oh, look, it's Sunday night. Couldn't help myself, I just saw it. You know, I'm trying to just get all these little jobs out of the road. And this one is my uh, manifold for my oil changes. Once I hook this up, I'll be able to turn a lever and press a button and that should be my oil changes done. So I'm gonna whip this together, service the engine already. I'm not gonna need it for another 200 hours, but um, I'll have it ready anyway. Next time we need a service. So one will be for the engine and one will be for the gearbox. It's going to make life real easy. Not so much of a chore then, doing the oil change. Alright, so I've taped all this up. I'm just going to secure all this together and make sure it looks all tidy. And then we'll go into the engine bay and we'll hook it all up. And I'll show you what it looks like in the engine room. So, yeah, it's a little Sunday night job. I thought I'd just pick something to... Yeah, maybe an hour to hour of the evening before bedtime. One less job. We're getting through them, but there's a lot of them. It's not so much jobs with this boat too. It is a bit of customization. Like no matter what boat we bought, whether new, old, whatever. Um, yeah, it's just all the little things we want to get right. All right, we'll get into it. Sunday night. Get this done. Have a glass of red and relax. Uh, look, I put probably a bit of overkill on this, but. You really, you don't even need to uh, use um, tape with this glue, but look, it's what we used to do in the gas field, so nothing ever leaked out there. Not that I know of, anyway. Uh, Alright, so I 
side. So we're in the engine room. Lee's just taping up the, all the bits, putting some, um, getting them all ready. But he's already installed the pump, as you can see there. Just waiting for Liam in the engine bay. But I was just wondering what I would look like with a fringe. I look like my mum a bit. Like a blonde fringe. Doesn't really go with my hair, so it doesn't look really real. Uh, here he comes. It's gonna be over here. More pipes, I can hold for you. I'm gonna have to come around there. Oh, am I in your way? Yep. Alright, where do we want this? Want this. Over there. much. It's a fair bit of uh, insulation. insulation there. You need a longer screw. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some. bit of wiring to do, wire that into this little mess up here. But I've got to fix that all up first. Tidy it up I should say. <sighs> Slowly getting there. Look at that, hey? That makes changing the oil real easy. So that'll be engine, that'll be gearbox. Too easy. Job done. Alright guys, time to bring out the jigsaw. I've just been down the road. Got some cast acrylic. What are we talking? Six mil, quarter inch. It was actually thinner. I just went a little bit thicker. I didn't want to go too thick because um, they get too heavy to lift up the hatches. But anyway, I've just come back. There's our old ones. As you can see, they're pretty, pretty much seen better days. So I'm going to get out there now. I'm going to round these edges off. I got the factory just to cut the square because I don't have a circular saw but I got a jigsaw and I thought I could just round the corners neater than I could cut a big long straight line with a jigsaw. I'll have a saw sooner or later one of these days and I'll be able to cut them. Till then, that's what I got. I'm going to get a crack into this. Stainless steel stands for slow speed for starters and don't bother trying to drill it unless you have cobalt drill bit which are these fellas here, the cobalt. It's about the only thing that'll drill stainless nicely. But what we're actually doing is, I've just drilled this out as a bolt that snapped off. So I don't know if this is gonna work yet, but I've just pre-drilled it. And now I'm gonna use one of the easy outs. So these are easy outs. They're a reverse thread to what goes in. So they wind themselves in the opposite way that you would the bolt and hopefully bring the bolt out. I've had this soaking for a couple of days. No promises here, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I don't want to snap it. No. That wasn't good. The idea is just to screw in here and pull it out. But I don't want to snap it in there, that's the other thing. I was told not to do this, but I thought, you know, I'd have a go. I may get around with the next size up, maybe. And the next size up. I think it's too big. No. It's the next size down, but.
Where's he going? Oh, I don't know. There's a few. That was that was hard. Okay. There you go. Down easy. How it works. It's so corroded in there. But was it easy? Wasn't easy. Got out. out. It was a hard out that one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get that off. I'm gonna have to get some multi grips. My assistant over there. She's busy at the moment, but <laughs> she's hard at it. Hard I at it. I am. She's flat out. Get it? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Taj is though. Look at him go. Yeah. About the only one doing any work around here. Can uh, you get me a multi grips, please? Okay, today's task, the part of the task is in fiberglass boats with a timber core, sometimes you get a bit of rot. In this case, a lot of the boats solid glass, but like a lot of boats too, they have a core deck. So, which is fine to have a core deck, but if any moisture gets in through the penetrations, you'll get rot. In this case, I've found a bit of rot under our winch. So when we, pur when we purchased the boat, the winch was off, um, so he was in the process of looking into fixing this. Pretty simple. I'm going to get use what they call G10, which is solid fiberglass sheeting. I'm going to cut it out neatly. I expose the timber. You can see here that's soft. It's more so just delaminated from the timber. But nevertheless, I'm going to cut it out neatly. And I'm going to get the G10, which is, I think it's like 3 8 thick. So it's going to have a solid glass core as opposed to a timber core. I'll epoxy that in, tidy that up, remount the winch, and we should be good. On here, what is going on here? I am. I just removed the old deck plate thing. So in Mum and Dad's bathroom, this is like in their shower, so that you can open it and get to all the pipes and stuff. And I removed the old one because we're going to replace it with a new one because it's pretty old. And gross and I'm just scraping all of the silicon around the edge the old silicon of where it was and acetoning it and cleaning it to put on the new one Screwing these in now. There's our layer of glass holding up our rotten core. So we're to clean all this out and get back to wherever we can get to fresh stuff. And um, yeah, this is all solid glass, solid glass, and the edge should be pretty solid. I was just the the inside of it was cored and these three winches have leaked and weren't sealed properly so we'll replace that with a whole solid piece of glass glass over it and seal it back up and it'll be 10 times stronger than what it was and it won't leak and if it does leak through the winches at some stage it won't matter because it's all fiberglass then righto
Okay, so today looks like Bella's room's getting pulled apart. There's lots of storage under Bella's bed, so having the front room's great, but there is a, a downside to it, hey? <laughs> under Bella's bed, there's lots of goodies, including we found a sewing machine. We don't know if it works yet, but... Oh. What else are we buying, honey? Random, it's like oh, lots of goodies, expensive goodies. Yeah, it's like all pretty much new blocks. So we had intentions, two big rolls of fiberglass there, which is what I'm after. That's what he's hunting for today I is that fiberglass. Two massive rolls. I don't know what it is, but we'll have a look. There's a spare chain plate. I think the emergency rudder is under here. Spares. Singing with bobs and lots of toilets. Canvases. Wires. I like the, the little shelves that are in there. Oil rag. What else we got? What else have we got? Flags. Oh, oh all around the world. Flag. We're ready to go, guys. We're ready to go. We know it. We can go anywhere. Oh, oh. flaps. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was, oh, there was some bits for our windows, which is what I'm hunting for. And like always, it's probably going to be right down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so neatly organising containers. So there we go, what have we got here? Do not cut, this is 200 feet. Oh, what's that? Telescopic adjuster. Oh, that's the spare thing we need. No, it's a different one. This will actually be good for maybe the locker, because the locker's got a spring one, and it's not working. Uh, it's a bit of home stuff. Oh, here we go. Bomar. Yeah. We got. Yeah. Oh, a whole heap of Bomar. Oh, they're the new bolts. Oh, you just ordered. I just ordered them. 200 feet, do not cut. Why is there 200 feet? A spare arm, or oh, it's an old arm. Yeah, but that's what we've got broken. Oh, there's heaps. Honey. Another one of the stainless fellas. Steps. That's what I was after, I know. I was after these springs. Yeah, that's what's in there. Yeah. I think we're replacing. Only a spare arm. Very, very exciting! Uh, we don't have to order parts. We can fix our hatches. Boom, boom! 